Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to remove objects from a large rule base. So we all know if you mark an object, we can press the where it's used, where there we can see like which groups it's involved in, but also where in the policy we're using this object. And you are able to do like this, you can click on the specific line and then it will be jumping to there and you can select it and press delete. And this is how I did it within R80, because I thought that Checkpoint removed the functions in R80 to just press delete. But apparently it's hidden in plain sight, so you're able to use the replace function. So if you press the replace button, you can select here and select none. And within the brackets it says remove items. If you select this one, you can pick all the objects and all the rules you want to delete it from. Just make sure to uh, check these specifically, because if you remove the object from this one when it's lost in cell, it will become an any rule. And it's not sure that you want to have that, so I deselect all the ones with any, and then we will take this manually. But if I press re uh, replace here now, we get up a question. Are you sure you want to remove this network from all objects and three rules? Yes. And we see here that all the red marks are removed from the rule base, except this one because this was lost in cell. So then we can jump to this one manually and we can see like, yeah, we don't want to have this object anymore. So let's just delete this uh, rule completely. And I didn't know this. So this was something that was shown within the checkpoint user group. So thank you for showing this checkpoint. And um, I think this is it.